Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. Hi, my name is Andy, and I'm about to walk you through a demo of how to update aliases of multiple members within an SPS dimension using a rules file. As it so happens, I just updated my account's dimension to move members around, and unfortunately I did not update the aliases when I did that. So as you see, my account 210 has an alias saying that it's a child 1 of parent 2, when you can clearly see that it's a child of parent 1 and not a child of parent 2. Similarly, I have the same issue with three other members. So I created a, rules, a, a data file, sorry, that has the new aliases that I want to assign to each one of these members. I created a rules file to help me load this. And as you see, it has three columns, parent, child, and alias zero. What's important here is that I need to set the dimension build settings of allow property changes for this to work. Previously, I had allow moves and do not share to make sure that no share members are created. I save my rules file. And then I load it. Once complete, we now open the outline and in a side-by-side -side comparison, you see that the aliases have now been updated. Previously where it said child 1 of parent 2, it now says child of parent 1. Similarly, 320 says child of parent 2 and same thing for the 130 and 110. That concludes my demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address in front of you. Good luck.